Today's Morning Minute. What are you holding on to? There's a big price to follow Jesus. The cost of discipleship is very high. The cost is such that Jesus calls it a narrow gate. You can enter God's kingdom only through the narrow gate. The highway to destruction is broad, and its gate is wide for the many who choose that way. Matthew 7, verse 13. This is not a popular message which Jesus is teaching about. The, the gate is wide open welcoming who choose the destructive way. The mammon monster's highway is full with traffic so much, so much that the expressway to hell is backed up in a traffic jam. Many are seeking this path of destruction, which Jesus describes as a wide gate. The cost of following Jesus is high. And in Matthew 8, verses 19, and then 21 through 22, we read, Then a teacher of the law came to him and said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Another disciple said to him, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. But Jesus told them, follow me and let the dead bury their own dead, Matthew 8. Jesus is telling him to break with the satanic rule of this world. To follow Jesus, you have to break the selfish desires of operating in the five senses and in your own intellect, feelings, and emotions so as to declare Jesus as Lord. You have to leave Egypt in the land of slavery. You must cross the Jordan into the promised land of freedom and victory over your own thinking, desires, and lusts. Jesus did not say this would be easy. The cost of following Jesus was high for the rich men. Jesus looked at him and loved him. One thing you lack, he said, go sell everything you have and give to the poor, and you'll have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. Mark 10, verse 21. The cost of discipleship is high. Jesus again says in the same way, those of you who do not give up everything you have cannot be my disciples. Luke 14, 33. I surrender everything to the Lord, Redeemer, Creator, Holy God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, the God who has known you from the beginning of time and created you to worship and bring glory and honor to him alone. May God bless you as you surrender and declare Jesus as Lord. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. And amen.